Hello everyone. Today we will talk about net operating income approach, NOI approach. It is also known as irrelevance approach of capital structure theory. Here we have some assumptions. Overall cost of capital always have been constant. Cost of debt is also constant. And when we start increasing loan, when the debt is increasing, the cost of equity start increasing and there is a no tax rate. We will explain with the help of example. In this spreadsheet, EBIT is given 5 lakh, overall cost of capital given 10%, cost of debt is given 6% and debt, it may be 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% or 60% of overall value of the firm. Now we want to find out cost of equity using NOI, net operating income approach. So now debt is maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 or 60 percent. So we'll go to data, go for data validation, choose a list and we have the source from C5 to C5. So now we have all this value. It may be 20 percent, 30 percent, 40, 50 or 60. EBIT is given here 5 lakh. K0, K0 is also given to us 10%. The value of firm, the value of firm always be equals to EBIT divided by K0. So the value of firm is 50 lakh rupees. It is, in this case, is 20%. 20% of total value of the firm. So the amount is 10 lakh. Equity, the value equity is value of firm minus the value of debt. So that's equals to 40 lakh rupees. Right now we are giving interest at the rate of 6%. 6% of debt amount. And the debt amount is here is 10 lakh. Interest is only 60,000. EBT is earning before interest and tax minus interest amount. And that is equals to 4 lakh 40,000. To calculate cost of equity. Now in this case, what is cost of equity? EBT divided by the value of equity and our answer is 11%. Now just check this. If debt is 20%, cost of equity is 11%. Now we are increasing debt. Debt increased to 30%. See what will happen. The cost of equity will increase to 11.71%. If debt amount is 40%, the cost of equity will increase to 12.67%. If debt amount is 50% of the whole value of the firm, the cost of equity is 14%. And if the debt amount is 60% of the whole value of the firm, the cost of equity is 16%. This implies as and when the amount of debt is increasing, the cost of equity also start increasing. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.